Hey cute people, happy holidays, tis the season to be jolly, it's on now, today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, Thanksgiving, a lot of us are getting together with our families, eating food, watching football, whatever it is that we do, some people even going out shopping, me myself, I like the holidays, but I'm not in love with the holidays, to me, Thanksgiving and Christmas is all about money, spending, buying, stores making profits, and people spending a lot of money they don't really have me myself I don't spend a lot I want a lot but I try not to spend a lot but there are a lot of things that I'm thankful for and I just wanted to express that in the video because my family really doesn't care and want to hear it <laughs> but um yeah there's so many things that I'm thankful for and I really really wanted to let you guys know what some of those things are and hopefully you'll share some of the things that you're thankful for like I said, for me, Christmas, like I said, I mean, I like the holiday. I really don't care for it much because, like I said, it's all about money, really. That's a whole nother video, right? Now is the time to talk about things that we're thankful for. I'm thankful for quite a few things, but I have to say the thing that I'm most thankful for now is definitely, definitely my family. I don't have a big family, it's really small, but I love them all very, very much. I um, I have two sons who mean the world to me, I have a nephew whom I love and I'm looking forward to him making a lot of changes in his life to get back to that fun dude he used to be and hopefully that'll come soon. I am so much in love with my mother. I. I have to say I'm very fortunate in that case because my mother is a really sweet lady. Growing up a lot of people said, oh I wish your mother was my mother. My mother was like yours. My mother is really, really a cool lady. She lives in North Carolina. I'm kind of mad that she left New York, but you know, that's where she wanted to be so I'm happy for her because she's happy. It makes me sad when I see that other people are not close to their moms, but it makes me even sadder when I hear people who have lost their mothers. Because if you're not close to your mother, maybe you can work on a relationship, but if your mother's no longer here, of course we know there's nothing else that you can do about that. But it makes me sad because I know one day between myself and my mother, one of us is going to leave the other. And it makes me sad because I just love my mother and I don't ever want her to ever leave this earth. And I tell her all the time to do things to take care of herself because I want her here for as long as possible. So I am definitely thankful for my family. I'm thankful also for the power of prayer. Yes, I am. My motto in life is if you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, then don't pray. I feel like for me, praying is just something that makes me feel grounded, happy, definitely just giving me hope for the future. Just making me feel as if I put my heart on something, ask for something, and then I'll get what it is that I'm looking for. I'm not a religious person, but prayer really makes me feel so much better, I tell you. Most of the time I pray for other people um, that I, I um, want good things for, or someone I know that's in pain. I pray for myself too, but I think that if the people I love are happy and some of the things that they need and want out of life that makes me happy too yeah it really really does i am so thankful for prayer i'm telling you if you don't do it try it if you do it then you know what i mean i'm thankful for just the simple fact that i live in new york city i couldn't live anywhere else i'm telling you I uh, mentioned my mother lives in North Carolina, so we used to go down there when I was young. And I tell you, I hated it because it was boring. It was boring, and I hated it. Here in New York, as you know, you can get into anything at any time, almost anywhere. And that is definitely something I'm thankful for. It may seem so simple, like, really? Yeah, because I don't think I can live anywhere else. Maybe California, because it seems like it's bustle, Lynn. It's a bustling kind of place too, somewhat like New York. A lot of New Yorkers walk in 
use a bus and a train. Maybe in California they drive everywhere. I don't know. But I probably could do California for a little while. But there is no city like New York. So I'm thankful that I'm a New Yorker. Yes, I am. I'm thankful for the fact that there are good people in the world. Yes, there are people who genuinely care about other people, how they get along, how they live, what they're doing. Yes, I am so thankful for that because I really do believe here, the Creator put us here on Earth to help each other, to really, really be good to each other and help each other. Now, we know that it doesn't happen all the time. There are a lot of people in the world who don't care about other people or don't know how to, whatever their story may be. But me, myself, I really believe you're here to help other people. You know, it doesn't have to be anything big or elaborate. You don't have to be a millionaire. Like, just today, I was reading um, a story, a site that I get emails from. It's um, DNA info.net I think it is or dot com I'm not really sure but they give you information for the borough you live in okay so I live in the bookie down and um I hate it here but um yeah so I live in the Bronx and I get this um email blast to me you know pretty much every day and it tells you different stories going on in the city but mostly in the area that you pick so they would um giving you information if you wanted to volunteer. Now, if you remember, a while ago I did a video and I mentioned, I don't know which video it was in, that I wanted to do some volunteering, which I signed up for um, a, vo a volunteer. Well, it's not a company, but I signed up to volunteer. I can't think of the name of it now. If I tell you you live in New York, you know what I'm talking about. But um, it wasn't really what I wanted. But anyway, this article was talking about organizations and some restaurants that were going to um, be giving out food for Thanksgiving. Now I couldn't set myself up for Thanksgiving and I hadn't thought about it prior but I know one of the places they're looking for people now who want to volunteer to help feed you know people during the Christmas season. Now I'm not sure when it you know whatever I didn't go more into it but I will and I say that to say if you live in New York and you want to know more Maybe, you know, you can get into it too. Just hit me up here on YouTube and I'll give you the information. And perhaps we can say hi to each other while we're there because it's something I'm going to look into. Because, like I said, you got to help when you can. I can't donate. I don't have a lot of money. But I can donate my time until I get a lot of money. So, you know, but like I said, if you're interested and you live in New York and you want to know more, hit me up here. Hopefully, by the time you do, I'll have more information for you. And, um, like I said, and, you know, do a little something and, you know, get into it. Because it's the holidays. You gotta give back. You gotta give back. If you're fortunate enough to get good things, you gotta help people when, um, when you can, right? But like I said, there's so many things that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the love that I feel for myself. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I really do. Because I really feel that I have things that I want to get into and nothing's going to stop me but me. So loving myself is definitely something I'm thankful for. I'm also very thankful for chocolate. Yeah, I got to keep it light, y'all. I know I got a little bit serious here. But um, the things that I'm thankful for are things that um, I think about all the time, which is up. But then going back to chocolate, I baked a cake yesterday with some cupcakes and me and myself was getting down, me and my younger son were getting down on those two cupcakes, I tell you for real we did. And I baked the cake too. That's just a little loaf cake, nothing really big. I put some chocolate icing on it. Oh, you can't tell us nothing. We've been going back and forth. So those few pounds that I lost, I'm getting them right back. That's that's not good. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So for that I should say I'm also thankful for the fact that I know that <laughs> I, I know what I should be doing, but I don't. But I'm thankful for the fact that I have choices. So how's that? I can, you know, eat some really good stuff because I had some stream beans yesterday, the day before that broccoli, and I made sure that it was pretty much, mm, I'm going to say, about 33% of my plate. How that sound? Real good, right? So I'm thankful for that. I am thankful for so much, but you know, for some reason, I could come up with a whole bunch of other things that I'm thankful for. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm thankful for finding YouTube. Why you say? Because here on YouTube, I mean, you could get on YouTube and 
talk about something that's important to you. Someone can give you ideas, suggestions, um, give you compliments to make you feel better about something that you didn't like. You can find a lot of cheerleaders here is what I'm saying. And hopefully if you're looking for cheerleaders that you're also a cheerleader too. Go past somebody's page and you know give them praise for something that you like. And even if it's something that you don't like, I'm sure there's something in that video you can find that you like. Instead of talking about, oh well, I don't like that type of makeup. Or you have one too much, I could never wear. They're not doing the video for someone who can't um, or don't want to wear it. They're doing it because they just want to show you what they <sighs> That's a whole other video. I don't want to go that route, but, um, you know what I mean. But I am thankful for it because community here, YouTube, you know, you I've come across some things that I'm like, wow, but I've come across some things that I was like, wow, that's like the, the dope. I mean, some of you people are so beautiful, and I mean, it's spirit where it counts because you could be the most prettiest thing out and the most evilest, hatingest trifling oh goodness and I've seen it not talking about just on YouTube I'm just talking about some of the people's spirits you know but like I said I'm definitely grateful for that because I've come across some really nice people I'm telling you some really nice people that um I like to know more about that's why I like tag videos I like to you know more about them other than you know makeup and hair but you know like maybe where do you live what do you like to do you know just simple little things that sometimes don't seem important but they are important just to know what makes the person that you're interested in like if you met a guy and you were interested in this guy you want to know what he eats for breakfast and what time you sit on the toilet okay you don't really want to know what time you sit on the toilet but then again some people just make do that but you know what I'm saying so you, you meet people that just seem to be very interesting you know like um just simple things man I'm telling you YouTube is a really nice community, so if you make videos, you know what I mean. If you don't make videos, you should try it. Like I said, don't come on here for a whole bunch of praise because you may not get it. But if you come on here being yourself, the praise that you get, I'm telling you, will definitely be genuine and you can definitely appreciate it because most people are going to tell you anything nice about yourself or something they like. I would think they would be genuine in it, right? Because, um, why say it? But then again, that's just me. You know... What else can I tell you that I'm thankful for? Now, before I went into the YouTube thing, I wish I would have told you that I'm grateful for good food, which I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So, I'm not going to stay much longer, but those are the things that I really, really want to point out. And I really hope I get this video up today because I was watching Queen Latifah, and I'm thankful for her show too because I love that girl. She does some really beautiful, wonderful things for people. So, if you haven't checked that out, watch the Queen Latifah show. But she had mentioned today, which I only found out today, that ABC Family, the channel, they're having a Charlie Brown marathon. So when she mentioned it, or rather when I saw it, I went to TV Guide, looked it up. It's a little tiny marathon that might be lasting about, she made it seem like it was going to be all day. So I'm thinking it's going to start like 11 and end at 9 o'clock at night because I don't know how many Charlie Brown episodes there are. But you know what? It's only maybe two hours, three hours the most, but that's okay. I think it starts at five. And um, I don't know what time it is here in New York right now. It should be about four o'clock-ish. So I got to hurry up and because I really want to check out the Charlie Brown Marathon. I think that's going to be so cute. So I'm going to end this video now. I don't have anything I need to be doing. But um, I want to find something to do, no matter how simple. I just want to wish you all a happy, happy holiday tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. I thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next. And you know I want you to do nothing but share and spread love.